Hey guys, so today uh, I've got a couple of the projects going on here on both of the bikes. Uh, we got to get a, we have big weeks coming up. Um, tomorrow specifically uh, is track day for this guy. So uh, today, basically, uh, after I get done washing it, uh, the plan is to just ready her up, get uh, all the lenses and everything taped off as best as I can, and then trailer it to the track in the morning at Groton Speedway. And all three over here, we're getting ready to go on a few different trips. Um, next week, we're going down to Tennessee to ride the, well, a whole bunch of rides, but uh, Tail of the Dragon, Devil's Triangle, um, there's a few other ones that I don't remember off the top of my head, but uh, so we're going to be down there doing about 2,500 miles. So after a wash, I'm going to try to transform this one into a touring bike. We'll get all the luggage and everything set up. Um, I just installed one of these little uh, tank bag quick disconnects here. Uh, we just put, I just put on a new uh, Garmin GPS. I still have them out here coming from the UK, so I'm not sure if it's going to be here in time, uh, but for now, just put it around the ram mount there. Um, so we're getting it set up a little bit. Uh, like I said, I need to wash, obviously. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll get him ready to go. Well, guys, guess what happened? Yep, I learned how to do a voiceover. So here we go. Um, so as as promised, this is me just prepping up the monster. So this is a 2012. Uh, Ducati Monster Evo 1100 and we're getting them ready for track day. Uh, so the first things first, she needed a little bit of a bath there so uh, threw on some of the uh, you know bug eater and uh, got some of the windshield stuff off and you know we're getting right into it so basically all we have to do for the track is to, well for what I know, uh, we need to painter's tape or put any kind of tape I guess around any of the glass so any kind of glass that's on there that can be broken in the uh, in case of a spill uh, on the track you have to tape over um, and then also more importantly the rear um, brake light you have to you have to tape so well that uh, people cannot see the light penetrate through the tape because they don't want anybody behind you to know that you're braking. It will affect other riders, um, change what they believe or think, their perceptions of what's going on. So basically, uh, you have to do that. Now, on the headlight, I'm not sure what the uh, actual rule is there, but I went ahead and grabbed some duct tape and just put on, as you can see here, I'm putting a layer of duct tape over top of the light just to mitigate some of the light uh, being emitted through the painter's tape. Um, this is a secondary precaution, if you will. So, yeah. Yeah, guys, this is going to be my first track day. Um, obviously, I'm going to be in the novice class. I'm, I'm racing at uh, Groton Raceway out in Groton, Michigan, which is uh, just a little bit away from Grand Rapids. Um, so, yep, here we go. So now I'm just uh, switched to the backside. I uh, did a turn signal, and then I thought about you guys and went, yeah, well... We should probably change the camera. So here we go. Brought you guys back with me. Uh, got a little bit more comfortable seat. And yep, so here we are just basically taping through. Um, again, both both of the turn signals and the brake light. Uh, the brake light, what I, I took the seat off just to get a little bit better access to it. Um, I don't think it would have really mattered, to be honest, by the time I got done, but it's so easy, no big deal. Um, and one thing also, I didn't really think about until I saw some pictures of some of the other guys um, is reflectors so I went ahead and taped the reflectors off on the front forks as well um, it went really fast so I didn't have time to mention that earlier but yep so here. okay so just finishing up the monster here and now we're going to bring in the 2022 Multistrada Pikes Peak and as mentioned earlier in the video here yep we I'm getting ready to go on a five-day Adventure down in Tennessee, um, doing uh, doing about 2,500 miles down there uh, and back to Michigan. And so, yeah, I'm just getting this bike set up for an early start on Tuesday. Uh, today is actually Sunday night um, when I'm doing this here. Uh, so, yep, just wanted to throw the uh, 
the side panniers on. Um, we're gonna put the top case on and a tank bag um, just to get everything fit. The, the tank bag is actually new. Um, I also want to throw my little sheep skin on here. Um, so right there, I'm actually just putting on the GPS. That's new to me as well. So that's the Zumo XT. I got that on a recommendation of a couple friends and said it was pretty rock star. So it was very easy to wire in. Um, the Ducati Multistrada V4 has a, a free wired nav wire that's actually hooked, basically split right into the, uh, what I would, what Americans would call a cigarette lighter, but uh, it's like a European 12 volt. Um, but yeah, you just take a panel off to the right hand side of the handlebars and it is right there You basically take the pigtail and connector that they give you uh, It takes quite a bit to get the, the wiring cut they, they kind of shrink wrap it and like almost like a resin So once you cut those out, uh, you can pretty much easily just solder it or a butt connector or both um, The connections there and then you have your 12 volt and then you just you just hardwire that right to your uh, GPS so yeah, it was very easy, um, but uh, yeah, so I bought the sheepskin uh, as some sort of a sweat slash heat mitigation um, for this trip, since it's going to be pretty warm here in uh, in, in July, or yeah, August here, sorry. Uh, but yeah, just throwing the top case on there, uh, you have to unlock the top case in order to get it down, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that, actually, but, uh, but I did it anyway. Um, so here's kind of the finished product here. Uh, this is all set up with all the luggage. Um, I am actually working on trying to get down to just the top case and tank bag. Not sure if I'm going to be able to do it, uh, but uh, I don't know that I'm going to need the side panniers for this trip. But yeah, that's how it uh, works out. Now here's this new top case I got. I'll tell you, it is too big and just the right size at all the same at the same time. It's it's very interesting. So. Still feeling that out. Um, I've actually never even ridden with it on. This is actually the first uh, first fit here. Um, but basically, I'm just kind of showing uh, here. This is what I've got in here. So I've got my GoPro accessories, other than the one I'm filming with. Um, but uh, yep, so those are all my SD cards, a small selfie stick, about six batteries, and then two GoPros and a couple extra mounts. Uh, it also fits my drone. This is the DJI Mini Pro 3, uh, as well as the Fly More Pack. All right, guys, so, yep, that uh, basically wraps it up, what I wanted to talk about today or show you guys, so really appreciate it. That uh, ends, ends this video here. Uh, have a good one, and uh, stay tuned.